Hi everyone and welcome to Louis Tutorials. Uh, today I wanted to show you how you can make a custom uh, slider in Web Plus X6 um, and it's very easy to do you just need to know a few little tricks as you can see here uh, I can either click on the arrows and it'll go back and forth and this is a slider that's been manipulated from one that's already in in Web Plus and all I've done is uh, take all the navigational bits and change them around but you've all, you can also notice here that I can also click on uh, the first one that will take me to the first slider the second one and if you keep adding on more sliders you can actually make them uh, all clickable and to take you to the appropriate slider that you want so let's go to web plus and show you how this can be done we're in Web Plus now and the first thing that I want you to do before we do anything is go to your objects um, panel and let's say we click on the actual uh, slider itself um, so what I meant before that you don't have to design this from scratch I mean you can if you want but it's not really necessary um, you simply go to your sliders and as you can see we already have one there and I think I, I basically started out with this particular slider here and I ended up with what I've got on the screen so let's just get out of that okay now every image can be assigned an action so uh, if we select the actual slider itself all these objects are underneath that particular uh, panel so we've selected a, the, the slider and basically this is one panel so if we go back that's the first panel that's the second panel now uh, see these two arrows in here they've actually been assigned an action and on this particular page I have two sliders so I have slider one which is up here and then I've got slider two down here let's uh, select that and let's right click on it and let's go to actions and we'll just analyze that quickly um, let's select the action and what we'll do for the purpose of the the video we'll delete the action okay let's go back and start from scratch so we right click on that go to actions and then we want to add an action we get all these options come up we want to select the slider option when you get the slider option here because we have two sliders on the page we have or actually we have four sliders on the page uh, sorry three but one of them is called four for some reason so we want to select slider two because this is slider two and we want to uh, have that's going to be a next button and there you go and the other one if we go to that that will obviously be a previous button so if we have a look at it go to edit see there you go and it's selected a slider too so you could pretty much uh, take any image uh, graphic or whatever you want uh, even from from here and say you you know select that and you you make an arrow um, you know pointed uh, to the right so now we have an arrow and that's pretty much how I made the uh, the arrows and that there will allow you to put an action on it now same thing applies with these ones they're just a little bit different so what I've done if you go to the first one I've created the circle with a graphic if you go to the first one go to actions and then click on that and go to edit let's see what we've done here we've selected slider 2 so it's operating slider 2 we've selected the panel option and we've selected panel 1 so that's corresponding to the first uh, panel in your slider and then if we go to the second one go to actions obviously as you already prob probably already know that's uh, panel 2 still slider 2 so that that's why um, they work perfectly and as I said as many panels as you have 
and just so you know what a panel is if you go to edit slider up the top once you've selected your slider and you go to panels that's panel one panel two and then you can just add, keep adding another panel there's as many as you want and you just got to give them the corresponding actions and that's pretty much it so you know the the final result is pretty cool it gives you an opportunity to design your own slider you don't need to use like a, a, a Nevo slider or um, anything like that you can pretty much design it all here here in web plus x6 and um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you guys very soon bye for now